Hi, I'm Amy, your family history tech coach. And today we're going to talk about the recent changes in the family search app. Now the online version is a little bit different than your app on your smartphone. And for this reason, we need to cover the topic. A big change was recently made to the person page on familysearch.org. Now you can edit much easier and there's a new timeline with maps. As a family history consultant, I've had many inquiries about whether the changes have been made on our smartphones as well and our mobile apps. And the answer is no. So today I'd like to show you how to get to the map feature on the family search app. So go ahead and open your family search app. Okay, let's show you on your smartphone how to utilize the feature of maps on your family search app. It's called Family Tree and it lives, has the icon with the white in the background and the green tree. If you click on that, you'll be able to see your tree. And along the bottom, you'll see one, two, three, four, five buttons. The map is located under the More button. On, an on Android devices, this More button is in the upper left hand corner, it's behind three slashes. On Apple devices, it's right down the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to go to Map My Ancestors. Here, you're going to see a map. Now, it's going to be located where most of your ancestors are and um, the ones you have on your tree. That's in the tree view. On the bottom, you'll see that a couple are listed and there's a little tab that you can push up and down to see more of the map or you can go ahead and see your ancestors. Let's go ahead and click on one of your ancestors and see what happens to the map. It's really fun and exciting. I am going to click on Charles William Mann. As you can see, his map starts off in London. He was born in England and he moved around a little bit and he came across to Utah. Then you can see a few places where he lived a few events in his life and then he went back to London for a mission and then he came back and you can see where he ultimately ended up and his death was in Salt Lake City. As you're viewing this map, swipe up on the bar. You'll be able to see in detail all the different events of this person's life. As you're traveling the world, open this app. See how far away you are from each event of your ancestors' lives. See if you can visit where those events took place. This will really help you get to know your ancestors. This is what the desktop version looks like. As you can see, the best feature is having the record hands right in the timeline. This gives you a wonderful perspective. This map is an amazing feature. You really get to know the travels of your ancestors and it really helps you um, and gives you a better insight into their lives and it will help you research their records because you kind of be able to put them in the timeline. Anyway, there you go. Um, let's use this and um, let me know what you think. See if you like this feature. Let's get to it.